Oh my gosh, come here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Faith. Hi, Andrew. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you're on here. We've got quite a few people in already. Please remember to check in. Please remember to check in. I have Andrew. I have Faith. Christopher. Hi, Christopher. I like your hair, Christopher, and the pictures you sent me. Good morning, Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you for your videos. You're doing a wonderful job, Mia. So proud of you. Talking and sharing your ideas. She's reading her vocabulary, the high frequency words to me, and counting. Thank you. Good morning, Eric. Hi, Bernice. Thank you, Jose Escutia. Hi, Jose. So I have Andrew, Faith, Christopher, Stephanie, Eric, Bernice, and Jose. Wonderful. Well, we're going to get right away started, friends. Um, some other people are, are logging in. We'll give them a minute, and then I'll go. What I'm going to say right now, I'll, at the end, I'll review, because I want to be sure everybody has a chance to do it. Now, uh, those of you, everybody's been going on and uh, going on to the website, walnuteagles.net and going into our distance learning kindergarten because that's where Mrs. Macias and I have been putting the lessons for our kindergarten English classes. And we're doing basically the same as the Spanish classes, but we decided to put them in your language. Also, I think Abigail's here. Let's see. I think she's checking in from my phone. Dominic is here. Abby is watching. Good morning, Abigail. Good morning, Dominic Lopez. I'm glad you're on here, Abby. Hi to Savannah. Okay, wonderful. And I think Abigail's with Grandma Maria. So, hola, buenos días, la señora Penedo también. Uh, also, Lucas is here. Yay, Lucas. So, I've got, let me go back. I've got Andrew, Faith, Christopher, Eric. Stephanie, good morning, Bernice, Jose, Dominic Lopez, Jameson is on here. Thank you, Jameson. Thank you for your videos. I'm going to be sharing your ideas with the others. With Lucas is here. Thank you. Abigail's checking in on my phone. Dominic, Abigail, Lucas, Jameson I have. Wonderful. Good morning. Good morning, Lucas's mom. So I'm going to share something with you. All of you have been going. Um, I did not send the lessons through text this week. Um, we're trying to access using the website, the Walnut Eagles website. You could go on there and it's there. You could print it. You could go back and look at it. We look at it. I don't know how many times a day. We're already planning for the next week. So that's that's why I have to kind of stay focused on what we're doing. Um, a couple of things about that. Thank you for doing that. The math pages are actually pages that you can take. Uh, there's a little actual picture there of what the activities are. We're gonna go through those. Those of you that I have your email, I emailed about half the class yesterday, those math pages. Mrs. Macias emailed them, I said, hey, and I emailed them to you. If I did not email them to you, please just shoot me a text with your email or email me at my school district email and then I could paste you in there. Very easy, I, could, I will send you the math pages only because it's a little photo and you can't really get a copy of it from the website. I could just send it to you and you could get it yourself from there. If we're talking about numbers bigger than 10 this week and making them, these are good activities that you can work with. We're gonna try to do one together. And I wanna give you some help in terms of counting them, how we're counting. Uh, talking about the counting, I wanna say thank you all of those who were doing the activity yesterday. Um, Dominic's mom, thank you. I was looking for your email yesterday. Thank you. I was looking for it and I was like, where's Dominic's mom? So don't worry, I will definitely send you those math pages. 
The other reason I want to be sure I have your emails, and I'll go back, I will go back um, into Illumini. That's what this is a program we use the boys and girls now, where I would call their name every day and it's on the computer. And then Miss Haro and the office friends, remember, I would say, oh, here, here, remember on the big screen, and we would read the names and we'd see who's here. And uh, if you're here, you were fine. If you were absent, you got the A. And if you brought me a blue note, remember we would do the T. Monroe's here. Good job, Monroe. I'm just saying that. Good morning. I'm just saying now. I'm uh, I'm emailing the math pages this week, uh, and I know I did Monroe's already because I had his mom's email. If I don't have your email, please send it to me. Thank you, Dominic's mom. Also, um, if I don't get those, I'm going to go on to Illuminate, um, which has a contact email for you. Some of you have given me an updated one, so I will I will uh, send that. The other thing is. Um, I'll send the math pages. Yes, I sent it to about 10 of you yesterday because I had your emails um, already plugged in. They were saved because we've emailed things before. Now, Liana is getting her things just emailed, so she has it too. This is what I want to talk about, about email. I've been looking at all of the ways we can talk and see each other, and I told you guys I wanted to use this for teaching because I'm not interrupted. You could stop, go back. See the language arts or the reading, writing, and go back and hear the story if I have a story, and then the math. But I know you guys want to see each other, especially because we only have a few weeks left. I want to give you a chance to do that. So I've looked into everything. What do we have? What do we not have? What's going to be hard? What's not going to be hard? So I'm going to try to use today at 4 o'clock, at 4 o'clock. I'm going to try to use Google Meet. Now, moms and dads, Google Meet, Google is our Google, it's our search engine. Boys and girls, sometimes when we would go onto the internet, remember I would I would type in like cats or penguins or weather, and then we would get all this information. Well, where I would type it, remember that was our search engine, Google is one of those, okay? You could just go in there and type it in and it'll shoot up all this stuff. And we like to use the thing that said images because images are pictures. But when you go into Google, just go into the Google, everybody's got Google on their thing or just put Google. There's a, an option called Google Meet. Google Meet. So, para darnos una oportunidad de comunicar hoy a ver sus amistades, sus amigos. Um, sorry, I'm going to say for those that are speaking Spanish. Um, vamos a usar el programa aquí que se llama Google y luego cuando um, le tocas el, o imprimes el, el botón que dice Google, se va a un, un lugar, puedes escoger el lugar que dice Google Meet. Meet. Now, I kind of like was researching it and one of my former students, now she's in fifth grade in another district, she and I do Zoom, but she sets it up. So she told me, Miss Ayala, you should try Google Meet. It is very simple, your littles will get it. So that was from my good friend, Yao Yin. So I wanna thank her for that. Um, and she tells me, I go back and see your class too, Miss Ayala. So on Google Meet, Google Meet, and I also had another friend tell me, it's very simple. Through your email, you're gonna get like a little invitation. It'll be like some letters and numbers through your email. Um, usando su uh, correo electrónico, yo puedo mandar la invitación para, con, con, el, con la invitación, uh, vas a copiarlo, or tocarlo, y va a abrir la junta or in, in nuestro uh, caso, the meat. Now, there's some things about the meat that I'm gonna talk about right now real quick. There's a microphone, there's a camera. You, The camera, if it has, we've talked about that, friends. If you have something that looks like this. That means no. So if your camera, it's like a video camera and I don't have it on here because I'm actually using it. Oh, it looks kind of like this. I don't like you out on the phone. If you have this, then I can't see you. So you have to touch it to take it off. 
okay? So we could see you. If you have the microphone, and my microphone here looks kind of like this, and it looks like a flower, but this is where you speak. We know. If you have it like, oh, sorry, looks something like this. If you have it with this, we can't hear you. You're muted. We want, when you're ready to talk, you have to take this off. You just click it and it'll open it. Now, we're going to try it because I know you want to see your friends. So today at four o'clock, that'll give me a chance to put in the other emails I don't have. At four o'clock, I'm going to try to send you the invitation. Okay. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Alyssa's here. So I'm going to repeat that when we, uh, Alyssa's mom, we're going to try to go on to Google Meet today. So the boys and girls can see each other at four o'clock. You're gonna get an invitation from me. We hope it works. This is no teaching. It's a chance for your, your boys and girls to see friends. And we talked about muting, you know, taking off your microphone, taking off your, your video so we can see you. We're gonna try it. I have to send you the invitation through your email. So I wanna be sure that I have that. Most of you, I sent the math pages. So thank you for that. Um, quite. A I hear a siren. I hope everyone is okay. Sounds like a uh, ambulance. Um, okay, you might hear it too where you guys are at. Okay, so friends, so today at four o'clock, we're gonna try to do the Google Meet. I saw the WebEx one, I saw the Zoom, which they say is not safe, but the Google Meet, we're gonna try it. If it doesn't work, I will figure out another way so that um, maybe even tomorrow, we can do it on Wednesday. If you guys, if it works out for us at four o'clock, we won't be on there very long. Um, we'll try to do it for Wednesday. I don't mind you guys coming together. I have to be the one inviting, okay? Because I have everybody's email. I don't mind that. And then the other days we'll still have class on Tuesday and Thursday. Vamos a seguir teniendo las clases, tomando las clases los martes y jueves. Pero si este se salga bien, para que los niños puedan ver y hablar, está bien. If you have, if it does work, friends, you might want to think about something that you want to show us from your house. Maybe we haven't seen before. Or you never got to bring it to like, you know, uh, when it was your table sharing time. Okay. Because it's at your house. So that might be something you want to do. Now, I know a lot of you I got to see last week and I was so excited. Sierra Vista High School came by the other day too. And I was cheering for them. And a lot of us got our new crayons. So friends, look what I did with my crayons. I got some too because I like to color. So I put them in this class. Now this is a glass, I'm not gonna try. You might wanna put it in a little plastic cup um, just so you can see your colors or be very responsible and keep them nicely in your bag, okay? You know, I'm always trying to show you things that I do. So friends, we have some really great things we're gonna do today. We have a new letter and we're gonna be practicing our numbers that are larger than 10, moms and dads. Boys and girls know how to count. They know what 10 is. They, we want them to be able to look at it and know it right away. We've talked about this before, friends, showing the dice. When you use the dice, that will easily be a quick way that they could say two, three, five, six, by knowing it. They don't have to sit there and count each dot. That is a number, a way to number recognize and very important. So what we're gonna do right now though, friends, is we are going to talk about our letters. One more thing I need to remind us all, um, two things. Number one, um, if, you, if you are not gonna be returning to Walnut School next year, um, I do know of some, but if you are not going to, can you please do me a favor um, and let me know so I can inform the office? Um, it's just a matter of we're, we're formulating the groupings. And what I mean by that is for next year, we kind of have to see how many students we have, how many students will be coming back. Some students do move. So we have to, we have to send their papers to the new school, to the new district, if it's a new district. Also, some students um, maybe have already moved. So we need to let the office know so we can send you your final report card um, and all of that information. So that's kind of why it's kind of important that we know if you're gonna be returning or not. Like I said, if you've already told us, uh, then, then I'm already aware of it. 
Um, also, we're making, we're seeing, um, like I said, making the, how many kids we will have for next year and who needs to teach what, okay? The other thing is um, there's going to be a letter going out because if you've had some problems logging in, I don't mean logging problems, um, not being consistent, not being here, not checking in, not sending me your work. Um, some of you I haven't seen at all. Some of you, I didn't even see you to give you your specials. I had to leave it with somebody. So um, if that's the problem or that's an issue, that's a that's a that's a concern of Mrs. Pedigrina and Miss Anaya. Um, and they did ask me and they've been checking in of who's been checking in. That's why I've been logging it in to my to my um, I've been recording it. So they've been looking. So you might be receiving a letter regarding that. OK, um, we understand that there are situations sometimes you can't come on both days. I get it. I get it. But I know you can always come back and look at the videos. And some of you have told me here and I know because you've seen the work. OK. So those are just the two things. We have to be responsible for ourselves, okay? Our letter this week is the long U sound. Now, if you remember, we had five vowels, five vowels, five vowels. And I, I read something about the vowel. Nothing could happen without a vowel. I read something about it. It was really cool how they said it. Maybe I'll find it in my book. But there are five vowels. I remember the vowels are like the glue that keep words together. So you hear sounds, but you've got some vowels in those words that keep your words together. So that's kind of cool to think of it like that. But remember what I said, every word has to at least have vowels because it's like that glue. So we have five vowels. Say them with me. A, E, I, O, U, A. E I O U. I know the vowels too. I know the vowels too. And friends, we said that the vowels have two sounds. Two sounds, especially important when you're reading in English. The first sounds we learned with the alphabet cards in our classroom um, are the short sounds. So A was like apple. Ah. E is like egg. And say it with me, I is like insect. I, o is like octopus. Oh. And U is like umbrella. Uh. Then we started to talk about the other sounds. The ones we knew were the short sounds from our alphabet cards. These are the long sounds. The long sounds are just the letter name. Sounds like the letter name. So A, the long sound is A, like in the word cake. E, the long sound is E, and we're gonna see that next week. I is like bike or Mike or ride. O is like cone, O, cone, and U will be a U. Now, one of your shapes you were learning about, one of your three-dimensional shapes, remember three dimensions are the ones that are not flat, they kind of are something. So one of the words that has a U in it is the word, let me kind of turn it this way so I could draw it. is a cube, 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 cube has the U sound, has the long U sound. Now, friends, you might be saying, oh, okay, those are nice. That's a nice word. Now we know cake and bike and go. But remember what I told you, when you're seeing the long vowel sound, like today in cube, we're using a pattern of maybe a letter U, a letter E. Some of you have already been sending me your list of long U words. The words we're gonna use today are gonna fit in this spelling pattern, spelling pattern. 
Just like we did with the A, A letter E. We did it with the O, O letter E. We did it with the I, I letter E. Do you remember? Those are a spelling pattern, a spelling pattern. When Lucas came to my house, he brought me my uh, poster. Thank you, Lucas. He and his mom came. He saw my chalk art, which got erased because of all the rain yesterday, which is okay because I'm going to do some more. My Baldwin Park BP state. But remember, this was like, for example, the spelling pattern of I. This is not the only way to make the I sound, but it's a way that we can start. Friends, it's really important two things. Know the vowels, know they make two sounds, and be able to see the spelling pattern, okay? Today, we're gonna do U letter E. Now, some of you have been making the list. There's other ways of making the U sound. Some of you use them. And I took them because I just wanted the long vowel sound of U. Some of you didn't use the U letter E. You did others. And that's fine. Totally fine because it has a long U sound. Um, I really want to say thank you because I like the way, and I'm going to say this right now, Jameson, so I don't forget. Jameson has like a little magnets. And so he was actually spelling the words with the magnets um, when he was doing his numbers as well. Um, he kind of laid them out using some things that he used to count. So those are really good ideas, friends, for you to actually work on your stuff. But he did magnets. I, um, I know some of you might have a dry erase board. I've seen that, which is really good, too. You've done it on your dry erase board, and then you take a picture and you send it. Very good. Very good idea. So some of our words that we might hear, we said already cube. Let's try to spell it cube. What could it be? A C, a K, not a CK, because it can't start a word with CK. So it's going to be a C, K, U, repeat it so you can hear what you're, what you're missing. Q, B, B, a B. Q, B. Do you hear anything else? No, but. If you do not put the silent E, quiet E, use not saying his name. And it would be cub, cub, a little bear. But we're saying cube. So this is why following the sound spelling is really important. It's really important. Okay, friends? Cube, cube. Another word, friends. And I want to thank those who gave me some words already. They were really good words. Um, what about rule? We have a rule in the class. R, R, U, U, rule. Uh, L. R, rule. Do you hear anything else? No, but we're following this map. Spelling, we're following this sound spelling. So we're going to have the quiet E. Remember, this is vowel one and this is vowel two in this. When two vowels play a game, number one says his name and number two is quiet. They could be this far, they could be right near each other in some words. In some words, they might have vowels together. And we'll talk about that later. We're only using the U letter E. I know one that Jameson used, I remember, was use, use, like I use my pencil all the time. I use my pencil. You, you hear the U right away. You don't have a front letter. You, you, you hear the U right away. Use, use, use. What is it? Show me an S. Use. Do you hear anything else? No, but you have to put, you have to put, oh, thank you. I like that one. You have to put the letter E because if you don't put the quiet E, it says us, us. We want you to say his name. Uh, thank you so much, Andrew and his mom. They just added one. They put tune. Tune is like, Using music, the tune, 
What do you hear the tune? So how will we spell that, friends? T -t 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 -t. A T. To the U. Tune. Mm. An N. Let's read it. Tune. Any other sounds you hear? No, but you have to put the quiet E. When two vowels play a game, number one says his name, and number two is quiet. When two vowels go walking, number one does all the talking, and two is quiet. So, friends, we have words. I'm looking forward to seeing the words and the pictures that you especially add today. So let's read them together, what we've written so far. And there are plenty others we could have done. Cube, rule, remember reading with your finger, use, tune, tune. Good job, friends. Remember, this is the sound spelling we're using today, okay? And you're probably saying, Miss Ayala, how am I going to remember that next year when I'm not with you? Well, do you remember this? I thought I had one here. Do you remember this paper? This is a small one. Let me show you. This is a small one of what you have. I need it and I can't find it. Oh, friend. Oh, maybe it's in here. Let's see if it's in this one. Do you remember your sounds, your alphabet cards in the classroom? Yes. A, apple, a, b, bat, b, c, camel, k, d, dolphin, d, e, egg, a, f, fire, G, guitar, G, H, hippo. You should be doing it with your mom. I, insect, I. Oh, thank you. I'm going to add that in there. Got a little, a little helpful hint about your magnet letters. Uh, I, J, jump, J, K, koala, K, your leg goes up. L, lemon, L, M, map. Mmm. N. Nest. Mmm. O. Octopus. Ah. P. Piano. P, 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 p. We do the sound and we do the motion, Jameson, in, in our class. Q. Queen. Remember a crown? Qu. R. Rose. Rrr, we're smelling. S. Sun. T. Turtle. U, umbrella, uh, V, volcano, sorry, V, volcano, V, W, window, open it, w, X, box, X, X, Y, yo-yo, Y, and Z, zipper, Z, K. The re I said, might as well go through and we saw them. The re what I told you before, friends, is that we have these cards, and you and I have been putting our high-frequency words under, and then your names, and then any words we made with those. Well, do you remember ours is covered with red? Okay, and I told you, you're going to see these cards in first grade, and in second grade, and third grade, and then later they kind of change the picture, but it's the same apple. It's the same B, a bat, but it's a, maybe a different picture when you get the bigger grades. But... On our card, moms and dads and friends, we had a little red box, and that's where we would put our high-frequency words. But under the red box, I'm sure I showed you once I took it off, the red paper, because on these, on these alphabet cards, I covered, I covered with the red paper because we didn't need that, what was under it, okay? Under it, we put our, our high-frequency words, but... When you go to first grade, they don't cover it because what's under the red for our class, it was a red box. When you take it off, what's under it are the sound spellings. 
how to make that sound. And it's a yellow box. It's written in there. The different ways to make that sound. So the long U, U, like in cube, we have U letter E. But there's other ways to make that U sound. And it's in that little part I covered. I don't show it in kindergarten, friends. I would, by this time, I probably would have like taken some of them off. So you could have seen them getting ready for first. But I don't show you right away because that's just way too much stuff. Okay, so you will see those pictures again in first grade. And the little red box paper that I have there will be off because your teacher will have be showing the spelling. Okay, the sound spelling. How do you make that sound? You could use these spellings. Okay, friends, so they all go together. That's a cool thing. You're going to go, oh, yeah, I remember these. I remember these in, in Miss Ayala's kindergarten. Okay, that's the cool thing about it. Now, friends. You've been asked to do some writing, so thank you for that. Let me go over some other words of you. Cube, mule, huge. These are words that Stephanie gave us, so thank you, Stephanie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at if anybody else is on here. Um, we also have the words use, dude, rude. These are words that Jameson gave us, so thank you, Jameson. Uh, tube, cute. These are words with the long U sound, long U sound. Um, so friends, we have been asked, um, sorry, I've been asking you to do some writing. You are doing a fabulous job. Please remember to color the picture. No excuses now. You all have some crayons. Remember to tell me who's in the picture, where are you at, and what are you doing? Some of you have been doing some really fun stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, also. Uh, you're telling me something that you like or that you did. Tell me why did you like it or why uh, was it fun? Remember to answer that question. The two writings we're doing, remember, uh, and we're going to maybe ask you for some information maybe like uh, in the next writing. Uh, but one of the writings, remember, is all about you, what you're doing. And then another writing um, is to tell us uh, something that you, narrative is the one. Moms and dads, the one that they're talking about them, something they did, like, what did you do today? What did you do? And then the other one, expository, is something about them that they like or they don't like and why. That's the important thing. You know, I liked going out in the rain because I got to put on my rain boots or I got to get wet and I came right back in and I was able to shower and change. I wasn't at school. So that was a fun reason for it. Now, before we do our math, we're going to have a little story. Do a little. I think I, I love this story because it's about numbers. Uh, and you'll see why I like it. Uh, do a little story. Do the math. Kind of like the doing what the sheets say this week. Numbers bigger. And I'm going to help you to start practicing moms and dads counting on. We've got like 15 of our friends here. And I know not all of you have checked in. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So some people, I've got people watching, but they have not told me they're here. I got Abigail as well. So friends, be sure that you're checking in so I can mark that down. Um, and I'm checking that. Remember they said they were gonna do it every, every day um, with me. Um, our story and then our math counting on, just like I said, on the dice, When your boys and girls see a dice, for example, when they see a dice, and this is like super quick, so sorry. When they see a dice, they know that this is, we want them to know that this is three, three. They don't have to go one, two, three, okay? We, we, they're going to know this is one. They're going to know this is five, okay? Four, five. Friends, as fast as you could practice with the dice, knowing that by looking at it, you're going to be able to do it with the numbers bigger than 10. You already know what 10 is, and we're going to talk about that. I want to read my story, and then hopefully I have a chance to talk to you about this book because I want to. Um, Tell you something about it. 
Remember the book I gave you, those are other activities. Some of you have been reading them, like reading the little story and answering the questions and sending it. It's just great practice. Are you going to give that back to me? No, no. But it's really good practice. And there's so much other things you can learn from it. My story today, and I'm sorry, friends, it's a little dark. The clouds got covered. So let me please open my window. I'm so sorry. And I hope to next week, friends. I hope to next week, um, or even maybe for the um, maybe for the the meet, Google Meet, I'll be in my office. So it's something different. Okay, so when maybe I'm in the office, we know, oh, it's time to chat and talk. And then you guys can see my office. I'm here because I need to know if somebody comes or if they're sending something. So this is such a cool story. I've had this story, friends, probably since my, my first year of teaching, 27 years ago. It's called, and I love it because um, it's called America by the Numbers, One Nation. Number one, one nation. And you can see... Here's some American symbols, friends. We know the American symbols. Friends, I think I'm going to email you that sign. American symbols, American symbols. We have four. Remember? What were they? Do you remember them? Let's see if you remember. American flag, the bald eagle, the Statue of Liberty, the Liberty Bell. Do you remember our symbols? American flag, the bald eagle, the Statue of Liberty, the Liberty Bell. Remember? Oh, we moms and dads didn't even know we learned that. They didn't even get to see it at the open house. But there are some of those in here. You're going to see it. And maybe moms and dads, you don't know, I'm very patriotic. That means that I love the United States of America. My father, he's an angel in heaven, but if he was still living, he would have uh, celebrated 100 years old this year. Um, and he fought in World War II. Uh, he's a, a veteran in World War II. Also with my two uncles, his brothers, when I got when I um, got sworn in um, as our city clerk, one of my uncles held the Bible. He turned 95. And my other uncle, Chris, has passed away also. So there were three of my, my dad and my two uncles in World War II. And I've had other cousins. My godson served our country as well. So I'm very patriotic. And I try to, to teach your boys and girls that too. Um, so this is America by the Numbers, One Nation, written by Devin Cillian, illustrated by Pam Carroll. And friends, just to let you know, I will add the link to here. Please go back to the other um, things that I have on my YouTube channel. Because friends, I've just been adding other stories in there. So um, I might just add one. We'll just have our stories. I'm going to you. So go back because there's many links so you guys can hear the stories. OK, they're really cool. Peter's chair. I found a bunch of those. So I wanted you guys to hear. Them. And then there's going to be some special favorites that we used to read in class. OK, One Nation, written by Devin Cillian, illustrated by Pam Carroll. This is one in my house because you can tell I don't have my name in it. Wow. Look at all those numbers. You guys know them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, you jump to twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. What would come after one hundred if we were going by tens? By tens. One hundred and ten. Then one hundred. Right? Right. Good job. One Nation, America by Numbers, written by Devin Cillian, illustrated by Pam Carroll. It's dedicated to their brother. Nice. Beautiful illustration. Beautiful. Do you see them in class? Who did that every day? We did. We did. We should have been doing that all this time. I am so sorry. We should have been practicing. Maybe on Thursday. We'll stand up and do that. That would be really good. Your parents can hear you do it. We'll do that. Okay. It says the United States, and I'm not going to read it all. This is some in here, and you'll see it when I link it up. This is information, more information about what's going on. This is the story. So I like this, friends, because it's 
It's nonfiction, not fake, but it's fiction where they're making this part up. But the nonfiction part is giving you the information. I like that. Remember, fiction is fake, a made up story, and nonfiction is not fake, right? Like our, like our um, textbooks, the books we learn from. So I like that. A number of things are on my mind. They're each red, white, and blue. You count on me, America, and today I'm counting on you. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's the what? American flag. Remember, some of you have been here with me since the beginning. We made the American flag. We made it. Don't worry. You'll get all that. You'll get all that. You'll get all that. Back. Well, this is an awesome map. Where has this been? Here's where the pilgrims came. We live over here in California. Here's the map. Wow. One of each, just like your shoes, America sometimes comes in twos. Two for South, two for North, Carolinas and Dakotas, back and forth. Two big neighbors stuck like glue. Mexico one and Canada two. Remember we talked about that, friends? When we talked about that, I don't know if I'm not right now. We talked about on top of us is Canada. And I did have that, sorry. We talked about on top of the United States is Canada and down here is Mexico. And that's what they're talking about. And then they have states, there's two that have the same name, North Dakota, South Dakota, North Carolina, South Carolina. So to me, it was probably like a pretty big state. So North and South, and then up here, North Dakota, South Dakota, two different ones. Here it explains that North and Car Carolina and South Carolina are the Southeastern United States. Both are Carolinas and they're among the original 13. Remember we talked about when they came over and made the land and they had the 13 little kind of like states. They're called colonies. So this is some information. I'm not going to read all that. You can when you hear the story in the link. There's three. I count to three just like that. I count the corners of my hat. A three-cornered hat from the Boston store. One just like the Minutemen wore. Or count the ships. That's an idea. The Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. Those are the ones that came over to find the new land. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Remember they came on those? Um, and remember George Washington sat? It had three. Three points as well. Three flags. The number three. Number three is the house number. Now, this is actually here in the United States. Somebody actually, not big hands like that. Somebody actually went up there and made this. These are presidents of the United States. How many are there? One, two, three, four. I have never seen this. I have friends who've gone. Um, I totally, totally want to see Mount Rushmore. And it is in the state of South Dakota. So I know Miss Ayala before. Um, something I want to do in, in my life is I'm going to go see Mount Rushmore. I will go see it. I know I will. If not, I'm going to make my Kehlani or, or my Sean or my Victor take me. <laughs> They'll take Nina to go see it. A massive way to count to four. The four great men on Mount Rushmore. We'll start with George Washington. One, Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson, two. We're halfway done. Theodore Roosevelt, three. And just one more, Abraham Lincoln makes four. So friends, these are presidents of the United States. We know our president right now is Trump, President Trump. But these presidents were before him and they did great things. So to, they, to honor them, they made Mount Rushmore. It's on a... Um, it's on a mountain. I'm going to look for a link for that, and I'm going to send it to you. Four, we have five. To count to five, it merely takes a trip along the five Great Lakes. Superior Deep and Michigan Blue, her own leads to the other two. 
Ontario answers when Erie calls over the roar of Niagara Falls. So up north, boys and girls, kind of like where Eric Antonio is from, they have these great lakes. See, here's Illinois. And these great lakes come out here. He's right over here in Chicago. And the great, the five great lakes, and they touch onto some of the feet. They're up here. I drew it for you. Remember I said Eric Antonio was up here near Indiana, Illinois? The five great lakes are right up here. Okay. So five. Canada's up here. Mexico's down here. Six. Ooh, what season? Fall. Look at you. They're painting it. That's beautiful color. To count to six, you need to stand as far northeast as you can. The New England states are perfect picks. Count them all, and you'll find six. And maple syrup from the trees so tall, they paint New England every fall. So the New England states, friends, are Maine, Vermont, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire. Those are. In the United States, they're up here. And that's one other place Miss Ayala wants to go um, when I have a chance. I'm going to go there to the New England states. I'm going to go with Teresa. We already have it planned. So we're looking forward to it. Six, seven. Look at that. Astronauts. We walk to the sky. We look toward heaven. And count our way through the Mercury Seven. Seven pioneers, seven brave men. Carpenter, Cooper, Grissom, and Glenn. Shira and Shepard and Slayton each knew that our future lay beyond the blue. These are the first men who went on to uh, the moon, made space travel. It says uh, the Mercury Seven were the nation's first astronauts. Over 500, by, so I'm sorry, they're the first ones. Uh, the first pilots, but these lucky seven were chosen and announced in 1959. My mom was only uh, 28 years old. That's the year my parents got married, 1959. They were M. Scott Carpenter, L. Gordon Cooper, Virgil Gus Grissom, John Glenn Jr., Walter Shira Jr., Alan Shepard Jr., Don Deke Slayton. From this group, Alan Shepard was chosen to be the first American to fly into space. The suborbital flight lasted 15 and a half minutes. John Glenn on, later, on a later mission was the first American to orbit the Earth. He's, his flight lasted four hours and 55 minutes. So using this, they were able to, to pilot into space. First astronauts, awesome, awesome, awesome. Seven and eight. Oh, this is cool. Do you notice? All of these start with what letter? And, and their states. Remember, everything about this book is about our nation. Our nation is the United States of America. On the eight, and even better, we'll take our number and add a letter. Montana, Massachusetts, and Maryland too. Missouri, Mississippi, and Minnesota will do. Add Michigan and Maine. Isn't that great? The M states help us count to number eight. That's awesome. This is a chalkboard. We don't use that anymore. When I started at teaching at Walnut, I used a chalkboard. Um, only had one color chalk, sometimes yellow, mostly white. And I realized, I guess they realized our arms were sore from writing so much because I was pressing so hard. So the markers are a lot easier. Eight, nine. Gotta love it. Love that baseball. Out on the diamond in a summertime shine. A baseball team will give us nine. A game that fills with American pride. It takes nine players to play for each side. Or let's find nine on a different sort. The number of judges on the Supreme Court. Nice. Boys and girls, there's nine players on the baseball field. The Supreme Court. Sometimes when somebody breaks the law, they got to go. They might go to jail for a moment, but then they get to be uh, go to court and appear in front of a judge. And the judge kind of decides, yes, you're right, no, you're wrong. Or sometimes it's just to the judge. You don't even have people watching 
what's going on, like witnesses. But sometimes he may say, no, you're wrong. And you don't like that. And your person representing you, your attorney doesn't like it. So they're like, mm, we're going to go a little bit higher. Like, so it's not just like with Miss Ayala, you're going to go to the principal. And then if you don't like what that judge says, you might go a little higher to a higher judge. So if you don't like what Miss Ayala decides, you go to principal. You say, principal, I don't like that. I'm going to go to the school district. So you go to superintendent. So you go higher. Well, the Supreme Court, friends, they said the nine judges in the Supreme Court, they are the highest court in the United States of America. So some people go straight to them. If there is a bad law, they think you are not letting us do, we're not living free, we can't live in the United States because you're not letting us live free freedom, then we're going to go to the Supreme Court. And they pretty much make the rules, okay? They decide, you know, yes, women can vote. Yes, um, women can run for elected office. Before all that, friends, we couldn't vote. Girls could not vote. Girls could not be uh, like me, an elected person. So th they made some great rules. And then some of them they don't like. So people kind of, you know, fight them back and forth. Um, after number nine is 10. And these are our Bill of Rights, friends. There are basically 10 bills of rights. And these are our rights as American citizens. We live here. We live here. We, we are able to count on these 10 rights. They are our free. That, that's what makes us free. They are called the Bill of Rights. And George Washington and all those guys, remember when he became the first president, we talked about him. Uh, they kind of like were like, hey, we got to make some rules up. So they kind of, you know, drafted this together. It says, to count to 10, just set your sights on what we call the Bill of Rights. Our founding fathers, those that decided, hey, this is the United States, remember? They thought to leave a list of all that we believe. 10 amendments making clear the right and freedoms we hold dear. So these are like the basic things of to live in the United States, that, that there are rights. We can go to number 10, 11. Look how they make 11. One more than 10 is 11. Four more than seven. We just head south to find 11. The Dixie States, the land of peaches, country yams, and southern beaches. Growing peanuts by the ton, 11 states in the Dixie sun. So when you go south, remember we were up here. When you go south, these states down here, they call them the Dixie states. There's 11 of them. If we remember the story of Abraham Lincoln, remember Abraham Lincoln was our president and it was tough for him because remember this part of the United States, the North, was fighting these people down here, the Dixie States. But remember, friends, they did fight and the North part won, so they kept our country together. Okay, that was really important. So these are the Dixie States on the South. 11, 12. Your mom, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, we all buy lots of things by the dozen. A dozen is 12. A dozen is 12 for sale at a store. Donuts come in 12. When you go to the donut shop, the little box is a dozen. Uh, a dozen eggs, they sell you 12. You can buy them as 12. Or roses, they come in a dozen. And much more. Remember, as you stand at the grocery shelf, when you buy by the dozen, you're buying 12. It's another way of saying 12. I want a dozen. 13, oh, look at that big hopscotch. 13 stripes in white and red of the American flag overhead. It just makes sense for each bright stripe representing one of the proud original few from 13 states our country grew, uh, our nation grew. Here's the number 13. We talked about this too, friends. 
we said in the United States, when they came over, remember they came and they started to like make these little states and they were really small. There were 13, just 13. And that's why when they decide, decided on this flag, they have 13 stripes. That means the original 13. We remember that we started with just 13 states. And on the flag, the stars are for the states. That's why we used to have it as a little circle, just 13. And as we got more little pieces or states, we started adding more stars. We've talked about that before when we talked about the symbol. Beautiful 14. It says, Everyone knows the first 13, but think of what came later. A brand new state, the first of many, to make our nation greater. You'll find 14 on Lake Champlain, beyond a beautiful ridge. In a white birch forest, by a country church, besides a covered bridge, 37 times we added a new state. See how they're sewing it on? 37 more times they added. They added one more, one more. We added a state, each cause for celebration. So let's salute lovely Vermont, 14th state in the nation. So friends, for a long time, we only had those 13. We only had those 13, the original ones, right over here. We only had those for a long time. So they're celebrating the one that just came after that, Vermont, 14. Beautiful flag. For 15 years, they drew up their plans, constructed her torch, and polished her hands. You know what that is? Statue of Liberty. Nice. Ooh, I read her. Jameson wants to go to Mount Rushmore, too. Awesome. I bet mom's seen it. Maybe. That's awesome. They drew up the plans and constructed her torch and polished her hands. They built her. Then they broke her. Then they placed her in crates, and they shipped her over from France to the United States. It took 15 years, but the, but she stands there today, Our Lady Liberty, lighting the way. We talked about her, friends. We said it was a gift from France. Did you hear what they said? They made it first like a puzzle. They put her all together. Then they broke her up, put her in crates, which are boxes, and they sent it over on the ocean over to the United States, and then they built her up again. We talked about that. And remember, the one in Las Vegas is not her. That's just a model of her. Well, 15, 16, I know. He's our 16th president. Remember him? Who? Abraham Lincoln. What does he hide in here? Anybody remember? He hides what? His speeches. To count to 20, I'm sorry. To count to 20, I hope you're thinking of Honest Abe. Abraham Lincoln. Long ago in the Civil War, the number 20 was called a score. Oh, the Gettysburg Address began just as so. Four score and seven years ago. So 20 is a score. Four, four score and seven years ago, our founding fathers brought forth upon this nation. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Isn't it something, isn't it nifty that the states add up to exactly 50? So now they're jumping numbers. They went to 20. After 15, 20, now they're at 50. As our nation grew, we had to wait. It seemed we were stuck on 48. Alaska and Hawaii, one large and one small, made 50 United States of all. Those are the last two. Wow, 100. The $100 bill, and that's Benjamin Franklin. To reach 100, here's the U.S. Senate with 100 men and women in it. A pair for each state, and of course you knew that makes 150 times two. If that doesn't remind you, Ben Franklin will. He's on the $100 bill. So friends, there's 50 states. There's 50 states, and each state has two people who are representing us. That means that they are our leaders. They're even higher than the mayor, than the governor. And they work in the United States Congress. There's two for each, so that equals 100 representatives for us. 
Our U.S. Congressperson here is a great woman. Her name is Grace Napoletano, and she's a wonderful person representing this congresswoman. And here is a little information about our author and our illustrator. Fred, I love this story. There are even some more books. This is, uh, I also have this one, A is for America, and there's some different books about letters and different items about like each state it looks like. Ooh, I might have to check those out. But this is one nation. Awesome. Now, I want to remind you that we're going to go on, because I'm coming close to my hour. I'm only going to take a few more minutes. We're coming close to, um, at 4 o'clock, I'm going to try to do that, uh, excuse me, the Google Meet, okay? Now, in that, we have a couple of things that we're talking about, and I want to go over it real quick with your sheets. The first one is just numbers 11 to 15. We saw them in our story. You're going to be uh, matching them. You're going to be counting and matching them. Remember, if you do not have glue, you can just lay it on its page and then show me. Another thing we're going to be doing this week is putting the numbers in order. So what I would do, friends, is know the number and then place it in order. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And the last thing, one of our activities has, and I've talked about this before, I'm going to show it quickly. Really fast, friends, when you see the number like this, do we remember what this is called? A 10 frame. A 10 frame. How many could fit in it? 10. Show me 10 with your finger. 10. 10, 10, good job. We were counting, we were counting using a 10 frame. Sometimes if it's just the top row, that will be five. If it's all filled up, that's how many? 10. You might have another 10 frame, but this only has this, three. But you need to count them together. Do you have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? 10? You already know it's 10. So remember, 10, count on, 11, 12, 13. You've got one, happy family three extras. You've got one happy family of 10 and three extras and three extras. One, two, three. The number is 13. Another way we were doing this was that calendar. When we had a group of 10, our blocks were blue. and we would put them together. Do you remember our other blocks when we didn't have a group of 10, a family of 10? They were what color? Red. Sorry, it's all uh, crooked. Now, you're probably noticing they're not stuck together. Okay, in your work, your homework, you're going to get a page like this. There's no color, but one of them stuck together. So that means it's a 10. That means it's a 10. These are not stuck together. They are not 10. You're going to, these are the extras. And they'll give you a number like, fourteen, And they want you to color it. Color it. 
Well, you know you're going to use one group of one. I mean, excuse me. Sorry. One group of ten. Ten. What do we do when we count? We know what we do. You know this is ten. We dot it. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Moms and dads, friends, we do that, Jameson, so we don't count anything we don't need. Do Are we going to use these? No. You don't have to color everything. You're only showing me 14. I know this is 10. One of my crayons. Remember, we talked about this, trace. You could do the whole thing like this if you have to. And you're going to color nicely. One. You can count it as you do it. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm going to keep going. Can I do these red? Yes. Can I do them another color? Yes. Do they all have to be the same color? No. As long as you're showing me. 14. Remember, if the cubes are stuck together, it's a 10. Count from there. These are not stuck together because they're not a happy family. I got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Am I going to use these? No. Can I leave them there? Yes. Show me the number by coloring it. Start with this one because it's a group of 10. Moms and dads, when we were practicing our numbers, which I know you've, you've been practicing, very important. Show them a number. Have them count on. Say a number. Have them count on. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 52, 53, 54, 55. 56. The idea is they know to 100? Well, you want to challenge yourself? Try to go backwards. 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Friends, might be tough at the beginning to go backwards. So look at your numbers. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking at them is okay, especially if you're going backwards. Friends, you got to know that. You got to know that. It's just helping you. You could do it outside when you're when you're playing. If you're doing basketball or something, you could be counting. It's so important to know your numbers and know what they look like. Okay? Now, the last thing I wanted to tell you, let me make sure my notes. Please remember to make sure I have your email so we can meet at 4 o'clock on the Google Meet. Google Meet, friends. Um, a lot of you have been working on this, which is really super great. I just opened it up. There's some things here they explain. This is cool. Some of you showed me, you wrote your name on it. I'm just coming to page one. Now, I know these numbers. I know these numbers. I could, I could, I could cut them out and glue them where they go. Maybe I don't have glue. Oh, I could write it. I could write it. But you know what? Today, I just want to color. I'm like, Mom, I'm going to color something. You don't have to do the page yet, but you could just spend a minute coloring when you wake up in the morning. You know what? I'm going to color this. You've got crayons. You've got crayons now. My little brown kind of broke. But remember what we said. That's okay. Remember, I always used, used uh, broken crayons. I'm going to do the dog. I'm going to trace it. And this is what I want to show you, friends. Remember when we did our little books in class and we had something like this? 
we had like a little dog or a person. Did we leave it like that? No. What did we do? Let me do this. We made. Here's a tree. I leave room because I still want to do the coat. I still want to do the number because that's what the page is for. But I could make up a little. Oh, put him across. I could color around him. Some of you are great colors. You really took your time. Now, am I telling you you have to do this? No. But guess what? You're going to be a better colorer if you spend time doing something like this. Do you have to do all the pictures right now? No. But I don't want to hear on board. I'm going to, uh, uh, there's things to do. I'm just doing this one here. I could do everyone different. I just picked a page. Later, I'll come back and I'll put the numbers. Friends, I don't want you to think that, oh, I have to do this. Remember we talked about the missing letters. You can color your cat. Show me where he's at. Show me what your rat is eating. Is he eating cheese? Where's the bat? Is it dark? Look at the hat. Is somebody under it? This is a mat, a doormat. And here he sat. Remember when you write the word, put the letter, you have to write the word down here. But you can color these very nicely. So friends, please make sure I have your email. Please make sure I have your email. We're going to try to meet at 4 o'clock. I'm going to send you the link. That's what it sounds like I do on Google Meet. So you're going to get an email. There's in, let me go back, in Google Meet. You're going to go to Google. It says meet, join a meet or something like that. But I'm going to email you the link. Uh, you should just have to click on and you will be okay. Um, a little side note here. Jameis's mom said the magnetic letters and the, oh, the brown flakes that we used for counting. It's a STEM toy. You know what those are, friends? Are those circles that we use that click together? Remember all those circles we would use to create? Jameson used those for counting. Then he got them from Amazon. So thank you for that. Thank you for letting us know. Love the magnetic letters. I love that. Um, so friends, I'm so glad that you joined me today. Um, I have a little appointment that I have to, do, to go to, but we will see each other at four. Hopefully it all works out and hopefully I'll be coming to you from my office. Okay. So I can show you the cool things in there. That'll be my uh, little sharing today. Hopefully. Um, and that's in the back and down my hall down there in my office away from the, the door. Okay, friends. So thank you so much. Um, any questions, please give me the email. Dominic's mom, I will send you the math. Anybody else, please let me know. Um, I love you, love you, love you, and I miss you tremendously. I will add the link here for One Nation book and any other ones that I find that are um, maybe one or two like that. But you guys have a great day, and I have to see you this afternoon at 4 o'clock. I love you. Be great. Be safe. Cover up. Social distance. Be great. Love you.